aspect it remains difficult to celebrate uh, still today. Russian aggression against Ukraine continues, killing innocent people, destroying the country infrastructure, polluting the beautiful nature. Also, the situation in northern Kosovo is worrying, as tensions are making lives of citizens and businesses harder. And recent floods that have affected many families, farmers, and businesses in the region remind us of the growing threat of climate change. However, perhaps even more in these difficult circumstances, there is a meaning in celebrating the European Union. The European Union is our common project, it's our common success, and it is our common future. In 1945, as the war defeated Nazism, also thanks to the courage and sacrifices of Soviet people, part of Yugoslavia at the time, Europe was destroyed physically and morally. And five, year, five years later, Robert Schuman set the cornerstone of the European Union, a new vision whereby solidarity and cooperation would eventually achieve peace in Europe. I mean that uh, fundamental freedom se zadržao u Subutici, odnosno na Paliću, gde smo danas imali konstruktivnu sedicu strateškog savjeta za saradnju Srbije i Mađarske, a što svakako takođe predstavlja i važan korak u našem širim partnerstvu sa Evropskom unijom, s obzirom da je Mađarska članica Evropske unije i jedan od vodećih zagovornika politike proširenja. Svaki godine kada obeležavamo pobedu mire i slobode, potrebno je da se setimo razloga zbog kojih je Evropska unija nastala i osnova i vrednosti na kojima ona počiva. Pre svega, Evropska unija je najveći mirovni projekat u istoriji sveta. Najveći 